Hello everybody and welcome back to GW Sheraton's Forever Stranded Lost Souls. That mod pack that's pretty difficult. So let's have a go at doing some bits and pieces. I am going to make, from a tip from Psycho Nightmare Mangle, a mega torch. And I don't know why I haven't done this before. I just assumed it was going to be too difficult. Now a mega torch prevents um, mob spawning in a radius. And according to the configuration it's 64 blocks. Now I assume that's the radius, not the diameter. Anyway, so let's try that out first of all. And it's actually not a very difficult recipe to do. We need three torches. Well, let's have a look, make a torch. For some reason it's not showing it. Oh, who wouldn't who wouldn't show up if it was spell it right, would it? <laughs> Here we go, a mega torch. So, what do we need? Some wood, some gold blocks, and some torches. I wonder if we can actually make any torches in here. I've got sticks. I've got loads of coal, so we need some sticks. Let's go and get those. We've got no shortage of sticks. In fact, I've done, as I've put those into some storage drawers. They're fairly straightforward to craft. I'll show you that in a second. So let's, but let's do, get this doing first of all, because it's all right. What can I say? Pain at the moment with all those mobs. It's basically what it's causing the problem with. It's actually delaying uh, the episodes, making them longer than they need to be because I'm spending all my time fighting mobs and I don't want to. Gold blocks. Okay, we need two blo gold blocks. Let's just do that. Dams, we've got plenty of, and wood, we need two logs. So we should be able to craft a mega torch. Indeed, we can. Now, I work calculated that the best place to put this at the moment is probably right at the very front of the ship, as far forward as we can get it. Uh, and I think that will do if I can get it on there. I might not be able to put it on here, actually. Because of these blocks. I bet the... I bet the I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll break one. Yeah, that will do. And then I can put it in there. No problem whatsoever. And that should cover 64 blocks, so that should take me all the way right back to the back. In fact, I think that's position 3. Let's have a look what position we are at at the moment. We're at position... It'll be 230. So 2 plus 30 plus 64 is... 294. So let's have a look how far back we can go. Of course, any existing mobs will still be here. So there's still a good chance of getting killed between when I go and do this. So I'll look around. So between episodes, I have been doing a little bit more farming. I've basically set up this area here. Ooh, got some more industrial hemp. Let's just chop that down while I can. So that should take me right back. Here is 291. So I should be covered in this area here. In fact, all of it should be covered. I think I'll leave it. I might as well do some harvesting while I'm here, mightn't I? This doesn't do any harm. I'm not actually sure. I'm not using the rice at the moment. Potatoes are taking a long time to grow. And I think that'll go right back to this area here. So I've basically set it all up. This area I've left as grass because I wanted to um, get some flowers. So I was doing some flowers as well. So let's have a look. Let's see how our mobs are doing. Actually, they're not too bad at the moment, are they? But what I will do is I'll put this down here like that. Just in case. So that's a great tip. Thanks. I should have done that before, and I don't know why I didn't. Now, in here, I have a tree. I've got a hopping bonsai tree with a string spiderweb sapling from Pam's Harvest Craft. That's just one sapling with three pieces of string around it, and it basically just drops cyber spiderweb saplings and string. So that's quite a useful way of getting string. The next thing I want to do, let's put that, let's put this food up here. I think I picked up. Oh, I can plant that. I should have planted that, shouldn't I? I'll do that next. Is in the in the millstone here. I can actually put these flowers. Let's go and do that outside. I think we're reasonably safe outside at the moment. There's a mob over above me or below me, whichever way. Probably above me, actually. We'll see in a second. It'll be a little ember. Hopefully not a magical one. 
it's going to be up or down. Let's go over here. We'll see if it's going to come this way or not. Uh, must. No, nope, can't see anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two flowers in here and turn this on again. And that should basically grind up to three each. And that'll actually complete another quest. And as you can see, we get three pieces of... Oh, four pieces of red dye. Even better. And we should get the same for yellow as well. Dandelion yellow should also get four. So that's a good way of doing that. That's fairly cheap. And I can take these out of here like that. And I should have completed another quest. It's one of the Tinker's Construct quests actually. Let's have a look at it. I think it's Tinker's Construct. No, it's not. It's better with mod. It's this one. Oh, we need to do six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, so what I was doing to get those flowers, these aren't a problem. We could cook two of these. That's no big deal. I'll have to give us six, six green dye. What did I do? With, what I got? Oh, it is a lot, yeah. Let's put that in here. In fact, look, let's not put that in there. Let's put it in here like this. In places I don't, I'm not going to just suggest this in the corner out of the way. Um, oh, I didn't take them into my inventory, did I? So I've got some. Let's leave those into that. Let's go see if we can get some more. Go this way side. I always forget to go that side. Some more flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'll just plant this one down here as well. I've got it. In fact, I'm going to. Oh, I did build a mattock. Did I show you that? Just a mattock's just a shovel and an axe together with a stick. And one end of it is... Um, what have I got for my materials? I've got a cobalt axe and a... And the, I think the, the shovel bit is a uh, pig iron. And I've got a wooden handle so it'll repair itself over time. Which is actually also good. I'm going to put this, this silky jewel on the pickaxe. So we can then do some stuff. So let's have a look. Let's just see if we can get some another another red flower. I got yellow flower. I need it. Oh, got them both. Okay, fantastic. And I do I have it with me a scythe? No. Well, let's go and get the scythe. That's actually the fastest way of chopping down. Well, I think it is anyway. I think that's the fastest way of chopping down these things. I've probably got I've got a settle in here, that'll do. Just check I've got the ore excavator on set to none. Which it is. You sometimes forget and you try ending up just doing a little bit and you go, oh, why is that not working? So we can just simply ore excavate this away. And then we can take the flowers too. I see that did all two of those last, both of those last, I mean. So we've got these two here like that. We've got some more. Oops. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? That was very bad. In fact, have I just got two seeds from that lot? Oh, that was very bad. So there's a risk. Oh, I should have put those in. The, I should have put those in the millstone, shouldn't I? Let's do that as well. Oops. Ouch. So we want one of those and one of those in there. Then we could turn that back on again. Is that an ember over there? Tried to attack me. Because I've got these, oops, it is indeed. Uh, <laughs> let's just get out of the way. Let's see if you can get caught on the on the diamond spike. If I'm lucky, you'll get caught on the diamond spike like that. And there's another one over there, and hopefully he will do the same thing. 
fact, there actually looks like another one, another mob in that direction as well. Thank you. That's unpredictable, aren't they? So turn that off. Where's the yellow stuff gone? Let's go and have a look at these dandelion yellow. It shouldn't be. I think I just picked it up. I did. Now I'll come and deal with this as well. I set up these razor wires and I was finding out. Got the pickaxe. It says breakable with pickaxe, and you're hitting them when it doesn't break. I'm going. Oh, that's really strange. And what we think we I think we need is wire cutters. Let's go and have a look. I've left the door open. I don't think that matters at the moment. So I've got some wire cutters already prepared, haven't I? Here, engineers wire cutters. Let's see if I can actually pick them up with those. Because if the mega torch is working, I shouldn't need them. And we can expand our base out this way. So let's see if that works. Do I have to right click it or left click it? Oh yeah, there we go. So I can left click this one of these. Fantastic. Actually, that's good because that was a real. That was giving me some trouble. I was getting wondering how to do this. I'm going to find a better place for these. I don't think here was a good space, really. And there's a cobweb and there's another ember. Let's get out of the way. Let's get the ember across over here. Because if I don't kill him, it doesn't increase the damage. It doesn't increase the. Um, difficulty so much. Thank you. Try again. Now I just need to put this away. I should have those two bits in here. I've got stomach cooking stone, aren't I? Okay, while we're doing that, there is another quest I've completed, I think, accidentally. Uh, what I completed was the 24 seared bricks. Um, I think that was the one I completed. I'm not 100% sure. No, it wasn't. It was this one here. The windmill sails. From, so let's have a look at that one. So they will be... Should now be done, actually. If we detect it, we should be short of two green ones. But that's not a big deal. So that was better with mods. So I think Immersive Tech, this one we've completed, so we get our loot chest, let's just claim that. Done that. And I think the way to go with this next one is probably here, low voltage. And also probably getting wires. Let's have a look, what have we got to do? Some wooden wall mounts and some wooden posts. They're not too difficult, and one of each. So let's uh, have a look at those, because actually that was the, my next option for actually doing... Uh, mob prevention. Nope, we're going to do something else first. Let's do this one first. Let's get this thing put onto here. So what I want to do is put on this pickaxe here, a silk touch jewel. So then it's a silky pickaxe. And what that then means is I should be able to come out here. Because I did notice when I was working over here that I've actually got um, some iron ore just at the back here. I think it's just through here. Here we go, some iron ore here. So if I or excavate that out, I should be getting the blocks now. I've got another iron ore and not just, there were actually two, weren't there? Um, let's just fill those in. And I reckon it's the same is going to be true now. If I start breaking up nether rack, it should also be putting that in. So where was the other one? Here, I think. Just a second. up here. Can't see it from it. I think it was on the other side. Let's put it up there anyway. So these should also break quite nicely with their pickaxe. Let's have a look and see if it does. Yeah, and I'm not getting little bits anymore. That's always been a pain. I hated that. <laughs> Let's just check the light levels in here as well. Should be dark. Fantastic it is. Just dark from this area, almost for the mushrooms to grow. So that's that bit done. I've oh, got some more carrots while we're out there doing that, so we can just do those. Pick those up. And oh, we've got some. No, not quite. Wheat's not yet done. So 
So, now that gave me that quest that was completed, wasn't it? Let's have a look. That one. Does it actually lead on to anything else, in fact? All the wind. I don't know what we use those for yet. I'll have to look that up one time. But I think that we're not going to get too many mobs around, which is pretty good. I'm just having a look here, seeing what we've got. Constant. I don't know what that is. A kiln block. A brick. Kiln brick. Eight kiln bricks. Anyway, we should by this time... <laughs> not quite got it yet. So, what I was going to say about this, let's have a look at the uses of this. We can smelt it. And that will give us one ingot. Grinding it. I'm just hoping that I'll get more than one if I put it into the smeltery. I forgot. Does it actually smelt in the smeltery? Or is it grindstone? Here we go. So we get two ingots if we put it in there, which is actually probably better than what we would have got, because that means you would have had to get 18 plus bits and pieces. So let's put that into here. And I did set some semi-automation up in here. What I did is put a hot, I moved the, added another layer up, so with some more bricks, because we've got plenty of bricks. And I moved the controller to here, and it's always good to have the controller on one side. So you've basically got some, now we've got four million ingots of uh, manilium. I'm not quite sure why I've got so much manilium. And um, lava is filling up nicely, four buckets of lava. So that was there. And underneath here I put another hopper. So anything that gets processed here. And I moved the, clock, the redstone clock to here. On this side, what I did here is to set up another hopper and fill that with cobblestone. And then that's feeding into a, the crucible. And underneath the crucible is a, a lava pool. And we can just about do that. And then, of course, I've got a, a fluid transfer node here to push, push it into the tank. And that just basically automates things. So I don't have to worry about coming in here at all. So what I will do, though, is the next thing that um, Psycho Nightmare Mangle told me was to make a, um, a shuriken. So let's do that. I think I've already got the parts prepared. Just knife blades, manilium knife blades. So let's put those in the table here and set up the, sh the, f the tool forge and set this one up. So now we have this, and I reckon this is possibly the best one we can do. I can't use it yet because I haven't got enough attack and defense, but I can make it. <laughs> so I need 14 defense and 18 attack. So somehow I've got to get the XP for those up. And, let's look. and if I get any rid of the mobs, I'm going to have to find another way to get mobs spawning, don't I? Which presumably means I'm going to have to do it slightly outside the base. because they have been my source for XP so far in the game. But to be honest with you, they're more trouble than they're worth <laughs> at the moment. So are there any around here? According to that, there's one over there, but I can't see it. Ah, it's probably, up, it's probably upstairs. Let's go and have a look upstairs and see if we can actually get it. I should be able to go upstairs, and it'd probably be an ember. Where has it gone to? There. But, I said that, I don't see anything. Oh yeah, there's one down there, look. Sitting on that ledge. Okay, that's what explains that one. That's where that block came out of, by the way. It was uh, being shot by a ghast. Oh, we can hear a few ghasts, in fact. Let's go downstairs. I also discovered something else rather interesting. Well, actually less interesting than I thought it was going to be. But our base is actually just above a lava pool. And it's not very far below this, in fact. It was... where was I? I was just here. And I was... In this bit that I filled in. Just fighting some mobs. And they were basically... Uh, I think it was here. I had the path going underneath. It was like four blocks under and it's a, a lava pool below us. 
So good. So now let's just chop this one up. I don't need to worry about those either. That's actually one of the best best rewards we've ever had was the um, infernal chalice. Let's get rid of this stuff. I got some more flowers. Let's put this. I think I've been putting the flowers into here, pink ones. And that should have finished now. So we've got some more stone, just in case we need some stone. And I'll just put these bits and pieces away while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise my inventory is so full I can't work anymore. What do we want to get rid of? That one string. That can go into here. And I'll put the bone meal in here, I think, as well. So that just out. Now, I shouldn't be getting any more of these little bits of um, what are they called? Nether rock with that pickaxe, anyway. So I could use it for different pickaxes, right? Good. So Let's have a look at what else we can do now. Kiln brick. I wonder what those are like to make. Let's have a look at what kiln bricks are like. Because I've not seen those before. This one. Oh, it's actually it's quite straightforward. And it makes two. Basically sandstone and bricks. Now bricks are dead easy because we've got lava. I mean, I'm not love. I mean, we got water and dust. I think the dust. Oh, we've got plenty in. That's grout. Dust is. Where's my dust gone to? Sand. We need sand. Oh, actually, I've got. I don't need to dust. I've got some clay. So let's just do that. And we'll put those into here now. Oh, yes, that's right, I got two, didn't I? Let's get those smelted into bricks. Now we've completed mill dies. So let's have a look at that quest as well. That was this one, wasn't it? And we get a loot chest. So now we can do a few more bits and pieces in here. Still upgrades. We probably can do a steel up gearbox I haven't checked that one yet <laughs> I did the wind charms before did the vertical windmill that's good the vertical windmill is actually quite straightforward and that but we just need a lot of string for that I think let's have a look at the steel gearbox while I'm thinking about it Okay, so it's five sort. Uh, no, <laughs> is that the one we wanted to do? That looks a bit expensive. Uh, must be a different recipe for that one. That's a broken stick. Yep. How can you? Oh, I have to craft a broken one first, do I? No, I can't do that. Some doesn't make sense. And there's only one recipe. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, okay. This is actually not easy then, it's a really difficult recipe. Because <laughs> Soul's Forge steel is not the easiest thing to get. And we've got to make two latches. So the Soul Forge steel anvil is a, um, quite a task actually. I'm surprised it's in fact here, so early on in the game. So Soul Forge steel. The recipe for that is we have to use a stroked crucible with a charcoal dusk and a soul urn and an iron ingot. Wow, that's a very, 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 very noisy ghast. Where is it? Sounds like it's about to die somewhere. But I have absolutely no idea where. Oh, lots of lag there. Huh. 
Oh. Well, if it's actually, if it drops, if it drops, then dies around here, because sometimes they die on these. They get trapped on the cactus. And when they get trapped on the cactus, they, dr they drop things. So I was just asking going to have a look, see if we can find any more gas tears. Because it's a lot easier doing it that way than to actually go and uh, get them. There's a mob here somewhere, but I think it's probably that one on top. Right. So what I need to do next... Oh, I haven't opened this loot chest. Oh, let's open this loot chest here. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I didn't actually do that. So I've got a basic watering a watering can again, which is actually not so useful as it happens because I've already got one of those. And we've got a second one here. Let's open this one up. And I've got two chests. So that gives us eight chests. Now, the way I've been make, the making chests to do the... Um, the storage drawers was like this with the if I do it with these if you put that around here like that you get six chests so those are basically the sidings which is basically is one cut from planks which is quite easy to do um, let's put rid of some of this stuff as well I don't probably need these in fact let's put that into there And I suppose the next thing to do is to see if we can actually... That kiln wasn't it, I was doing the bricks for the kiln. Now sandstone is dead easy, all you have to do is take four sand. Put it like that and you get three sandstone. So we should be able to do our first kiln brick. And we get two of those. I'm only short of sand as it happens, so well, that's not very Deal. we can make sense so I'll make the rest of those between episodes I reckon we should be able to do that without too much difficulty I also wanted to make um, two more pieces let's have a think about that I wanted to make some which one ever which one it is I think it's this one no nope. it is the sharpening kit good so I'll do get the sharpening kit made and what I'm going to make the sharpening kit is I'm going to make a sharpening kit for the cobalt for the pickaxe and the sharpening kit for the um, shuriken. So let's do that. So I want to get rid of two iron, two ingots of manilium. Oh, actually, while I'm doing that, I'll put the this into there. Let that get through like that. Take that off and put in this one. We can then do the two. This will take two ingots in its own right. Then we come to the control and I want to actually got four ingots of iron. Actually what I'll do is I'll put that down in fact. If I can turn on the clock. I'm going to keep my eye on this because I want to make sure I don't actually turn this into ingots if possible. And it looks like it's not going to do that. Let's put down the sharpening kit again. But what I can do is turn the clock on. And those are everything I've done again comes down here so I can take everything out of that, no problem. I can do quite a lot of water in that way, so it's it's actually not such a big a big deal. We'll turn that off now. And when that's set, it'll remove it and we'll take out then put back the other one. The ingot one's probably best in here. I've actually made the ingot one especially for this particular one. So we've now got the two sharpening kits. So one of the sharpening, I'm going to put both those two sharpening kits in the bag of holding. Like that. Oh, that's where my dust is. I knew I'd got it. I want to go and set up the mechanical miner too. Because I've actually never used this. I said before I've never used this thing. Let's just put it down and see what it says about it. Minor, enchanted book, always on, and it needs speed upgrades. Okay, it's not going to do a lot by the looks of it. So look, I guess it's a pickaxe that picks it up again. Indeed. 
Let's go and test this thing. Let me just check my armor. I haven't got any helmets in my stock of things. And uh, second, I'm, I'm, I'm angle told me to get some steel armor, which is I probably will do that. I probably won't do it just immediately because I've got to make some more steel to do that. 24 ingots of steel is quite a lot. So let's go and have a look up here. All right, I put, I've been looking for that spike. I put it down, and I put it down because um, there was a blaze around here. Let's put that in there like that. And it was shooting. Oops. Whoa, that's a bit too powerful, isn't it? Let's just do it like this. <laughs> One right click and it picked up the whole block. Oh, gee, that's probably not a bad place to put it, in fact. Now, if I remember rightly, and I don't because I know it's over the other direction. Was that our die tour? 27 mining for that. I haven't got that levels yet. I probably should set up a, a mob spawn of some description. Now, base is that way, and I think where I want to go to is not over here. This lava lake goes all the way underneath the base as well. That's the one that goes underneath the base. Um, let's go down here. Oh, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> Some redstone all there. I'd like that, but uh, not at the moment. Oh, yes, I see it. Another visitor. Let's get my sword in my hand. Six XP. I don't think that's going to give me enough for a defense. Let's have a look at what I can do for defense and attack. Defense is 10, I need 7, and that would be able to increase defense. Okay, let's just tell my way out of here a bit. Oh, yes, that's where I am. Actually, I want to be through here. Where's it gone to? Because through here I've got a tunnel going upwards. I think it's probably here actually. Let's just um I have to press shift on I? got it wrong again. Hold on a second. Am I still on the wrong side of the passageway? Oh, yes, I am. Right, this is the place. Now, we should find mobs up here as well, because we... Can I mine? Oh, I can mine this now, can I? Oh, indeed I can. What's it picked up for me? Athamist ore. Not sure what the uses of that is yet. Well, I'll do that when we get back inside. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's put down a mechanical miner here. Do you know what I haven't got? I wonder if that goes in the wrong direction. I need a redstone torch or something like a lever. So I've got one in the bag here. No, I haven't. Okay, let's go and get one. I'm going to just quickly do this because it's I've run out of time again. I'm having far too much fun, I'll tell you one thing for that's for certain. Um can I make a lever? 
Yes, I should be able to make a lever. Have we got any cobblestone in that chest? No. No, stacks of cobblestone and none in the chest I need in. Right, one lever. And I think this is all we need to do. I think we've got time to do this before the end. Well, I've actually run out of time. I'm already on 36 minutes, I think. Now I reckon this mine is going to go in a 3x3 three three direction. Let's just turn it on with the lever, see if it works. So I guess that I'm going to have to put the lever on the side of it or on here. Let's just try it on here like that. Oh! Aha! Okay, so that's the business end of it, is it? Ah. Okay, I've come out here. And this is just beside the... Where are we now? I think this is the other side of the um, fortress. So let's try that miner down again now. Still wants to go that direction. I wonder if I can turn it. Have I got the hammer with me? Hopefully I've got a hammer with me. I bet I haven't. Oops, I haven't. Actually, let's get this one up. Oh, silk touch won't do any good, but oh, wish it will. That was a bit, that was my hand. Tell you what I'm going to do. I haven't got any more time for this. For today, I'll see if I can <laughs> oh yes, that's not a bad view, is it? So, <laughs> until next time, I wish you all the best. And I'll figure out how to use this minor between episodes. So until then, bye for now.